Hey folks! So, saw Avengers Endgame over the weekend, and I thought I'd just do a quick video talking about it. And, I think I'm gonna test out a new format, go back to the start where I just talk and put some pictures over my words. Cause those are nice and easy to make, and won't drive me crazy with overwork. So, a little backstory, I'm kind of new relatively when it comes to the Marvel movies. I avoid them for the longest time for many reasons. One, because i mostly been a DC fan my whole life and I just couldn't get into them and any Marvel property that wasn't Spider-Man I just didn't care too much for. Another reason is because it, literally everybody was talking about them. Like like, if you remember back in 2012 when the Avengers came out, it was massive. Like, everybody was talking about it. Everybody saw it. Except me. Yeah, I... <laughs> I tended to avoid it and never really gave it a chance. And I just thought all these Marvel movies were all overhyped. And even though I never watched them, I know I suck. But, for some odd reason, on a whim, I... A couple of years ago, I was just bored on a Saturday night, and I asked my friend, Dell, you want to watch Avengers? And he's like, sure. And I don't know what got me to finally cave in and see it, but I did, and I had lots of fun with it. And I don't know why I avoided it for the longest time, because it was the kind of... I don't know why I avoided it for the longest time, because it was the kind of non-stop, turn-your-brain-off action fun that I love so much. And unlike a lot of other superhero movies that are that were trying to be all dark and gritty and adult and realistic, it was a superhero movie that had fun with itself, and that's what I missed. I missed the superhero movies that were afraid that weren't afraid to just be fun non-stop action movies instead of being all oh we gotta dive deep into these characters uh, psyches what makes them tick and their tragic backstories and blah 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 I ended up becoming a Marvel fan just like that and before I knew it I was going out of my way to try to find other Marvel movies to watch and when I finally got a blu-ray player and got Netflix and Hulu that made it all the more easy because a lot of Netflix had a lot of Marvel movies on it, so I think the one that sealed the deal for me and made me want to follow the rest of these Marvel movies is, well, yeah, Avengers started, but, you know, it's that's the one everybody seemed to like. They, I didn't hear much about every other one, but I tried out Captain America Civil War, and I loved that even better, and wow. Yeah. <laughs> It, be it made me a full-blown Marvel fan. And I just slowly started seeing Marvel movies shortly after that before I got all caught up. Well, not all caught up. I, I think the, the ones I haven't seen yet are Thor, The Dark World, the first Captain America movie, and the first Ant-Man movie, and The Incredible Hulk, but nobody talks about that one anyway. Those are the only ones I miss, but it seems that based on my viewing, I've seen the best of the best, so I guess you can say I'm all caught up. Long story short, Avengers Endgame comes out th this month, and so yeah, long story short, Avengers Endgame comes out, and everybody's hyped about it. It's going crazy, breaking pre-sale box office records, and here I am, a new Marvel fan who wasn't there from the start, and... I never really got the chance to see a Marvel movie in theaters, so I felt, well, if not now, then when? So I finally mustered up the courage to go to see a Marvel movie in theaters, and I happened to pick the best time to go because, holy crap, this movie is selling out everywhere, and yeah, it's one of the best theater experiences I've ever had. Probably the best. I was in a sold-out theater, and believe it or not, everybody was quiet. Everybody was invested in the movie. They they weren't talking loud or anything. They were. They the movie had their full attention, and for good reason. It was an epic experience for a superhero movie. 
And well, soaking it all this movie in, it it's life changing for me. And I'm not exaggerating or anything. Like you know those movies that you watch and it just changes you as a person. You can feel like your inner workings just clicking while watching it. That's what I got from this. It's like everything in the world, happening in the world, didn't matter. We were all immersed in this movie about superheroes trying to stop this alien from wiping out half the population of the whole universe. That is great storytelling. And it fascinates me that we have this film series of 22 movies all combined and all leading up to this one event. That's asinine. And I gotta give it to Disney and Marvel for this because it seems like it seems like when it comes to Marvel movies, they even the worst ones are okay at best. Just okay at best. That's pretty fascinating for a franchise like this with all these different writers, directors, every, and everything, that you can have that kind of track record when it comes to quality when it, for 22 movies. That's a lot to be admired. And I'm old enough to remember when Disney first bought Marvel, and of course everybody was freaking out like, oh no, no, they're going to ruin everything. I, I, bet. <laughs> I bet they're all kicking themselves in the butt for having for Disney creating the biggest blockbuster sensation of our generation. I mean, no joke, Endgame is going to be the Titanic of our time. It's, I can definitely see it coming. It already grossed a billion dollars on its first weekend. That's asinine. That never happens. And it's all for a movie about superheroes, which for the longest time was seen as dead on arrival cinema. Superheroes, people. I'm, I remember a time when superhero movies were just in a dark period, and it it seemed like they were never going to be seen as a plus entertainment. But Sam Raimi's Spider-Man came out, and well, the rest is history. And with the release of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse last December, I think it's safe to say that superhero movies ain't going anywhere anytime soon. And now that it's touched upon the animation art, art form we have a way to see a whole new fresh look at it so so anyway back to Endgame so even as somebody who's late to the Marvel game and didn't get a chance to see the movies when they were first starting well okay I had a chance but me being my hipster self back then I decided not to participate but that old man's dead now. I killed him. He's buried in back right now. Oh, he's trying to get out of his grave. Oh, no false alarm. I not. I'm not gonna lie. There were times that I got really choked up and I almost burst out crying. And the only thing that stopped me is because I had a mother on one side of me and a college kid on the other side, and I just didn't want to make an embarrassment of myself. But that's just how well done the story is, and just how attached we've grown to these characters over the years. And if you can, if it can get somebody like me, who just recently got caught up with all the Marvel movies last year, to get that invested and that choked up over what happens, then that, that says a lot. That's powerful storytelling right there. And what I love about this movie is, like, it didn't feel... It, had, it was a well-balanced of humor and action and high stakes. There was a lot of the characters just sitting around and talking and bantering with each other. But it all works. It's hilarious. And it's great. And anything in any other superhero movie would be seen as stupid. But with the universe of Marvel established, it works. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm just at a loss for words. And... And we all know the, the last hour makes up for it with a big, big finale that we expected from this seri supposed series finale of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or at least the Avengers storyline. I mean, this is the kind of movie I missed. It just felt fun. It 
was an all-around fun movie. I miss movies like that. I miss being able to have fun. Because you know, in an era where everybody online is trying to ruin what you love for you, oh, we can't enjoy Star Wars anymore. Oh, we can't enjoy Marvel anymore. Oh, we can't enjoy She-Ra anymore. Oh, we can't enjoy anything we like anymore. Screw them. You know, they don't matter. This movie shows that, at the end of the day, they just don't matter in the world. Because come time for the future, they're the ones who are going to be forgotten to time. Not movies like this. These are going to be taught in film classes. These are going to be t shown as a way to make blockbusters and extended universes. I can see film professors talking about the m impact of these movies and how you can have a series of 22 movies all be successful and all have critical acclaim. That's never happened before and I hope it happens again because this is what I miss. This is what I miss. This is what I go to movies for. And I hope that my favorite franchise, the Godzilla franchise, gets a similar treatment. That would be pretty sweet. I have that to look forward to next year. I think I'll do a little trailer reaction to Godzilla King of the Monsters after this video. Well, not, not right now, but <laughs> you, you know what I mean. So yeah, I just, I'm at a loss for words, folks. I... I never expected to become such a fan of this Marvel um, Cinematic Universe, but I have, and it made me excited. It made me feel happy again. It made me feel like I can have fun with movies again, and it, it inspired me. I want to do something like this with my characters. I want to create a universe where they all connect together and they all come together in an end. It's like not every story has to be all serious and everything and not everything has to be ruined by people on the internet. You, nothing is stopping you from enjoying what you love. Nor should it. Because this is what you love, dang it. If they don't love it, that's on them. If you guys haven't had a chance, though you probably already have, I'd say go see Avengers Endgame if you've seen all the other Marvel movies. So, if you haven't, you're probably going to be a little lost. But, if you have, it's worth it. It's totally, totally worth it. And I, don't, and I hope every other Marvel movie that comes out now, it doesn't try to top this. But, just focus on being their own standalone thing. I think that'd be the best route to go, just... Give us all we want and ask for, and then take us back down and uh, start over. I think that's the best route to go. And I hope other movie studios come up with great ideas for extended universes. And and I think it's safe to say it's fun to go see movies again, folks. And I'm looking forward to a lot more blockbusters coming out. Whether it be Star Wars, The Return of Skywalker, or whatever that's called. And... Definitely Godzilla King of the Monsters and whatever else I feel like seeing because if it's one thing Avengers Endgame taught me is that there's no shame in having fun. As always, stay loony my toonies.